At 9.45 last night, two workers on site, one employee and one contractor, involved in the welding repair were both injured. Both workers were transported to hospital for medical care and, on, and the site uh, work was paused during the safety investigation. A contractor was welding to install the metal collar on the new section of pipe with using what's called a come-along system. And while watching the come-along system, a chain broke, uh, resulting in the injuries. 911 was called and EMS was dispatched to the work site and both workers were transported to hospital. One worker was in serious condition, non-life-threatening, and the other was in stable, non-life-threatening condition and is now released. Alberta OHS attended the site this morning as part of the safety investigation. At approximately 10.40 a.m. this morning, OHS Alberta was satisfied that the welding work could continue, which was the subject of their investigation. Before the safety incident yesterday, we did make progress. The replacement pipe is now in place, and the robot continues its inspection of the rest of the 1950 millimeter feeder main, and we have now inspected more than four kilometers, which is about 80% of that section of pipe. And we always take worker sa safety extremely seriously. So stopping and addressing the safety issues was a must. There's no doubt about that. And we also know that every hour counts in our response. But yes, it will impact our timelines, and we're currently assessing what does that look like. But what we will continue to do is do the work safely. Our recreation facilities, weight rooms, and fitness rooms remain open, along with non-water-based programs, including our art centres. Pools and showers remain closed and swimming lessons are cancelled. If you've had your rec program cancelled, you will be notified via email and you will be issued a refund. Arenas also remain closed except so those that have dry pads which are used for programming like ball hockey. There is an ongoing closure of some sections of the Bow River pathway along with the Edworthy North parking lot that started at noon today. During this time, local traffic is still being allowed and we're aiming to have the parking lot reopen for Monday morning. The opening of our city wading pools and spray parks that typically open for us on Father's Day weekend will be postponed until after the water restrictions have been lifted. Now, it's been a week since the city woke up to water conservation requirements, a week since we had that alarm in the morning letting us know that we had our water supply compromised. Calgary, I need you to continue those efforts. It's only if you and I keep banding together and reducing the amount of water that you're using uh, that we will be in the kind of situation we need to be in. We need to ensure that emergency crews are able to do their jobs, and we can only do that if we continue to save water.